Hello, Chef's Manifesto. I'm Gayatri Pishoria and I'm reporting to you all the way from Amritsar in Punjab in India. I am in a local, zero-budget, organic, natural farm and I'm going to show you what we're growing here and how we use the produce. I have some lovely carrots, I have some turmeric, I have some uh, turnips, I have potatoes, spinach and whatnot. Follow me into the farm and let's see how we can cook with it. So if you can just look down at the field, the field has a lot of mulch in it. So what's mulch? Mulch is not just leftover leaves from the entire field. It's also jute bags, carton bags. It's zero waste, zero budget at its absolute best. So if you can see the beautiful yellow hues of the haldi, it looks like ginger really, but when, once you wash it and you smell it, it is epic. If you take the camera up above, you will see poplar trees. Uh, right now, uh, we are heading into spring. So the trees have shed and all the leaves, the poplar leaves have come into the field. That helps add additional nitrogen, natural additional nitrogen to the field and also helps the growth of friendly pests. So right now I'm in the shalgam field and shalgam are turnips, okay? So over here we have uh, anar which is pomegranate, shalgam we have muli, muli which is radishes and we have green apples growing all in the same field. Of course you see the groove here as well which helps retain water in the upper section of the field um, and drains the excess out of the lower section, keeps it moist for longer so that we don't use uh, too much water. Okay, so let me just try to get some shalgam out. So this is shalgam. So let me try to find some muli as well. Uh, so shalgam I already got and here is, ouch, I broke it, but here's a radish. We like to use a whole vegetable. Uh, what would famously be made in Punjabi houses is muli ki sabzi, which would use the, um, the vegetable and um, the leaves tossed together and spices and uh, if that vegetable also is left over we would just make a paratha out of it or a little wrap um, absolutely amazing and so fresh okay so right now i'm also going to be getting some fresh methi and what's methi methi is fenugreek um, so in punjabi cuisine we use a lot of this in our parathas uh, we use a lot of it in our sabzi so sabzi is like you know afternoon evening vegetables Okay, so I'm in the field which is just being cleaned up uh, and you know they're adding some manure and they're going to be running a tractor through it. One of the problems that we find uh when you run a tractor through the field is obviously while it may remove the weeds and it may clean the soil but there is definitely a depletion of carbon from the soil when you run a tractor. For this we don't yet have a solution. What I really want to show you are the birds right behind me. These are in Punjabi they're known as baglas uh, but um, they're, they're, to me I think they're a variety of crane. So they're pecking into the soil and they're looking for food and what they're eating uh, are these particular pests that we don't need in the soil. So they're literally helping us clean the field. It's amazing how nature supports mankind. So in this field what's going to be sowed again? They're going to be sowing um, sugarcane and seasonal crops. While sugarcane is almost a year-long crop, seasonal crops will keep alternating. Uh, so you know they're going to be supporting each other uh, thereby promoting biodiversity and soil health. Okay so after that little workout um, I just want to talk to you about carrots. These are, these are seasonal uh, crops and while Instagram is big on carrot leaf pesto, um, what we really have been doing since time immemorial is um, actually use uh, carrot leaves as fodder for animals. Also something very interesting I want to talk to you about are the weeds that grow uh, within the carrots. So these are like wild weeds, we're not really sowing any of this and they're a natural um, they help us naturally fix nitrogen in the soil. Um, so these are weeds that are not removed by the farmers because they help preserve the nitrogen content of the soil, thus preserving land health. Okay, so I just dug up some potatoes. Uh, potatoes are root vegetables, as all of us know. Uh, potato leaves, not very edible, but they're used uh, for mulching right in the field. So if they're a waste from the crop, the farmer pops them back into the field to help restore moisture and nitrogen. So this is the garlic field, lasun in Punjabi, garlic in English and as you can see it's been mulched with waste leaves. Uh, I'm just going to try to pick a bulb, uh, these are not very mature yet so maybe we get like a baby garlic but let me see if I can just try to get a bulb out. Okay, yeah, so they are still babies um, but what we would do is actually use the entire bulb of garlic and use uh, the leaves as well. So they have a lot of flavour, you can use them as garnishes, you can use them in soups and stocks very very flavoursome. Okay so now I'm in another field in the same farm and what we have here is gobi which is cauliflower, we have potatoes and we have spinach and on the other side we have some broccoli all of this growing in alternating rows. Um, so let me just try to get out some gobi for you. 
um, gobi is cauliflower and um, so what we like to do with cauliflower is actually use the whole floret and we use the dandhal this the stalk of it is called dandhal in punjabi and we use it for stalks uh, we also puree it and we make uh, like a little mash out of it the leaves as well are used in our parathas so the entire vegetable is edible and it is absolutely yum Okay, so now it's time to get some palak. Palak is spinach in Punjabi, and I'm going to show you some of its beautiful, beautiful, fragrant leaves. So, I mean, I would actually use them just the way they are in a salad, or make a little wrap out of them, or uh, maybe like make a palak paneer, which is like an authentically Punjabi dish. Um, absolutely love it. So now I'm in the gau shala. The gau shala is the cow shed, um, and I'm with the calves. So these are only these are like really, really young babies. Let me try and show you the bigger cows. Well, if looks could talk, I think the cow's eyes would say it all. Uh, they are petrified with my presence. Who is this stranger invading our privacy? Well, that is me. I've been so curious to actually see the cow shed. Uh, the farm literally depends on the cow shed. Um, the cow is an immensely important animal at the farm. Uh, you know, they use cow dung to irrigate the fields. They use cow urine. Cow itself is an animal that is much more valuable uh, when it's alive because it constantly feeds the farm, and of course, the farm. in turn feeds fodder to the cow so it's a beautiful symbiotic relationship